Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> Call all your money, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Chachadash. Double on the city of apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well. Shalom, Machasad, Lahabach, Yah, peace and mercy to the elect. Your fellow servant, Thumb Yad, I represent the GMS Church in Cleveland back in the spirit. I hope and I pray to say a fine lesson. <clears throat> Mega Church. Mega Church pastor Michael Todd gets a haircut and a shave during his sermon. And you're gonna keep playing with the Lord till the Lord start putting niggas up. Sending their body down to hell. See the, the earth, the grave, and a spirit to to him to 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 be to appear for Salaki before the judgment seat of the heavenly. You niggas gonna appear before the judgment seat of the heavenly. The heavenly Father already got your judgment written. Niggas like this, the law ain't done away with. That's what the majority of you motherfucking Christians don't get, man. The law ain't done. The law ain't never going away, dummies. Fuck. <clears throat> and why the Lord said that about you niggas, man. You know? And in, in, in Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, you see, the Lord said, uh, and then the, my people love you niggas in the audience. They cool with it. You know? Let me see about the law. I mean, it's like, that's Romans 7. The law go, the law endure forever. The law ain't never going to be done away with. You idiots. It's going to be written in our inward parts, you dummies. Fucking idiots. I can't wait till the Lord start fucking judging niggas in 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 public. Alright? Romans. And I'm gonna see what it says in the GNT, man. GNTA. Let's see what it say. <laughs> but then niggas will go to the, the book of Galatians. It'll talk about the law. We know we can't keep all the laws. Nigga, you can you can you can restrain yourself from getting a fucking shave, bro. We can't keep our Paul said it. Ain't no man justified by the law. We know that. You see? We know that. But like Apostle Paul said also about the law to the Corinthians, because they was just they they probably had that type of spirit on them when Paul so Paul came to that particular region or area and we ain't got to keep the law yo the law see lord the lord the, 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 the lord was speaking through paul right hamashiach yahweh shah our lord and savior possess possess a pro i'm gonna say that every time possess of one his own that's our lord our savior not everybody else man you know um he said uh do we make void the law god forbid but we established the law so you established the law, man. You ain't just supposed to be a fucking lawless. The heavenly Father sent the. Uh, 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 I think the Lord referred to this devil as a lawless nation. You know. Romans seven. Oh, see this phone be tweaking, man. Like trying to do too motherfucking much, man. But don't worry, I'm about to get a new one. Phone uh Thursday or Friday through the Spirit, Lord willing. We won't have these problems no more. His phone just glitching, you know, can't download particular apps because you got to update it, this and that. And Romans 7 and 1. And this is the beloved Apostle Paul, a letter, an epistle that he wrote to the to the Israelites scattered in Rome, man, in the Marius, in the you know, OCCC. Yo, no, not not fucking everybody. This 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 was addressed particular to, particularly to, to the Rome, specifically to the, to the Israelites scattered in Rome. James said that one and one to the to the twelve tribes scattered greetings, and 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 James I think it was James or it might have been Peter he mentioned the Cappadocia and the different regions that was in 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 in, in that in that land which is modern day Turkey man. Certainly you will understand what I am about to say. So this is what the beloved Apostle Paul is saying to the Israelites in Rome, my friends. Because of all, because all of you know about the law, the law rules over people only as long as they live. So you got breath in your lungs, the law is, is over you. I like the way it's written in the, in the, in the um, let's see what it says in the Geneva. I like the G, the KJV better. You see, 
the KJV sometimes that spit hot fire too. You know, we we deal with these other translations, but the KJV really, it really where is that? You know, it's really where is that? You know, because the Lord really got to be dealing you going into that KJV. See these other ones, they make it, they they kind of like make it so everybody can understand what it's saying, if you will. The, the KJV is really parables and, you know. <clears throat> Let me see what it said in Geneva, because we mentioned this the one time. Yeah, that's cool. Like I said, the KJV. See, see, I ain't even, I ain't written the thing down, man. What the fuck? God damn. Stupid motherfuckers, man. Oh, um, so lucky, man. And that's the thing. Because the, 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 getting this, get this work, work in, and I'm not even dragging the screen down. I'm trying to go up. This phone be tweaking, man. Damn, let me get to the KJV, man. Romans 7 and 1. It says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how, how that the law have dominion over a man, as long as he liveth. So yeah, there it is, man. So the law ain't never gonna be done away with, man. It's lucky, you know. That was, uh... Yeah. You see? <laughs> Mega church pastor Michael Todd gets a haircut and a shave during his, his sermon. And that's completely off, man. If it's, it's in the law, the Heavenly Father talk about a razor in the in the in the Levitical law. You ain't supposed to get no make no cutters in thy flesh. You ain't supposed to shave your head, bald head, man. You ain't supposed to cut your beard off. I give him a prime example of our forefather David's messengers that he sent to. What what was that? Matter of fact, I, I think that's. Let me get that real quick. That's in Samuel. I want to say First Samuel, like nine or ten. I'll give you an example of a sh how shameful it is for your beard to be shaven off, and that was unwillingly, nigga. Fuck. Damn, I, ha I had the app. I'm going off Salaki. So oh, it's cool. Fuck it. <sighs> uh, is either nine or is a uh, chapter ten? Yeah. Hold on, wait. Oh, damn, is it? Oh, I, I, the Salaki, that's 2 Samuel, Salaki. Salaki, um, 2 Samuel. I want to say, I say, I'm going to say 10. Yeah, this is it right here, 2 Samuel 10. And one, and it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died, and Hanun his son reigned in the stead. The Ammonites, so-called Japanese, that's so you can understand. That's the biblical nationality. They're the Ammonites. They descend from uh, our forefather Job. I said, like I said, Job. Uh, what's our forefather name? Ah, oh, shit. It's <laughs> like it got them. Uh, lot, lot, it's like it, lot. You know, he did, they did Ammon and, and Moab, they descend for Lot, they children of, of incest, so you can understand, you know? It says, um, let you know, women don't got no understanding, man. That should let you know right there from the decision that they made, you see? They ain't got no fucking understanding. They ain't basing it off, the, they going off of emotions. That's off feelings and, look, see? The Israelites was always in the earth, even when the Lord fucking destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. That don't mean all the Israelites was in Sodom and Gomorrah, you dumb women. See? Getting their father drunk, fucking having marital marital sex with him. That's off. It says, verse 2, Then David then said, David, I will shoot kindness unto Hanun, the, the son of Nahash, as his father shoot kindness unto me, and I forget the situation what his dad did for David, but you could look it up. You see, I'm trying to make this quick. And David sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants for his fathers, and David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. Right. So David sent servants there to 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 entreat him peaceably. You see, say verse three. 
And the princes of the children of Ammon said unto Hanun, their lord, thinkest thou that David doeth honor, honor thy father? That he hath sent comforters unto thee? Hath not David rather sent his servants unto thee to search the city and to spy it out in the over? See, that's the type of shit Esau Edom does, you devils. So our forefathers, they got integrity. They men of their word. They don't fucking, especially in these times, man. You know? When they get somebody they word, they fucking, they, they stood on it, man. You see? So these demons right here, they ain't have, they ain't know who David was, man. Obviously. They ain't know the renown or the, I don't know what the fuck they thought, but it says verse, verse four, that's the point. Wherefore, Hanan took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. So he cut off half of their beard, man. See? Let's see. Well, let's see what David tell them. Did David tell them to go to fucking go, go, come on, just go, go shave the other half off? That shit looks stupid. Did David tell him that? Was that the type of advice that David got? No, because he know he was supposed to, according to the law of the Heavenly Father, and was more commonly known as the law of Moses, which is of the Heavenly Father, idiots, says, right, so David, what the fuck you think David said? Go, man, go, go in the bathroom and get the razor and shave the rest of them shits off, bro. Y'all looking, you're looking, you're looking mad wild, B. This is what David said, verse verse five. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them. So he ain't even bring them amongst the congregation. See, he ain't even they ain't even come amongst the people. Why I say why? Because the men were greatly ashamed. So it was look, man. We ain't, we don't shave, we didn't shave our beards. That's not a part of our custom. That's a heathenistic. That's a heathenistic custom, man. You see, these men was. Greatly ashamed. I'm gonna see what it's saying in GNT, and I'm gonna wrap it up, man. And the king said, "Tarry at Jer Jericho until your beard is be grown, and then return." You see, so they was greatly ashamed that 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 these niggas took them and shaved their beard. <laughs> now that's the thing about our people ain't got no shame. Neither could they blush. Roughly, roughly paraphrasing, you know. Um, let's see what it's saying GNT. <clears throat> Ooh, GNT, 2 Samuel 10 and 4. Hanun sees David's messenger shaved off one side of their beards, cut off their clothes at the hips, and sent them away. They were too ashamed to return home, so they didn't even want to go amongst the congregation of people, man. You see, and you see how much our people have become degenerate. These niggas shaving their beards off willingly, man. You know? Hey, so with that, I pray this is edifying, man. I give all glory on the praises call law. You want Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakadash, double on the city, Pastor Elz, a great millstone, who rule well, Shalom, and Wakasala, Bakiyar, Mwafla, Baba, Shalom.